Hello everyone, um, this is a tutorial on how to link Google Analytics with uh, Google Blogger. So I'll go through the steps on how we actually do that. Um, first of all, you need to take yourself to um, HTTP uh, analytics.google.com or you can do a, a simple search on um, Google itself, just type in Google Analytics and you'll be taken to uh, the main page. Now, if you haven't signed up for Google Analytics before, then you'll need to go through the sign up uh, process. So you will already have your um, Google account that you created Google Blogger with. So you'll still have the same Google username uh, and password. But let's go through the process of signing up for uh, Google Analytics. So first of all, we go over here to this area where we click on sign up. And once we go through that here, we then have uh, our new account name. Um, so we can put any name that we want here, linking that with our uh, blog site. So for instance, I'm going to put um, marketing communications and the digital age and then I have my website name which again is marketing uh, comms and the digital age and then I also put my URL and I'm just copying and pasting this one so I don't have to type it all again. And I have dot blogspot.com for Google Blogger. Then I can select uh, an industry. And for this, I think I'll select business and industrial markets. Now that just simply depends on uh, the area in which your blog relates to. So for instance, if your blog is about travel, then you would select from the drop down list here um, a category that relates to travel. There may well be uh, one already there. And then we can change our reporting uh, times to UK. So we scroll down, go to UK. There we go. And then we can share some of the data that we're getting for uh, from our website with Google. You can un uncheck that if you don't want to uh, share any of these, but I'll just leave those checked just now. And then I click on this bottom uh, blue um, icon here, get tracking ID. And that's what we're looking for. So we click here, get tracking ID. We can scroll through and read um, Google's Google Analytics Terms of Service Agreement. And once you've read through that, you can click accept. And from there, we are given a number of different options um, in terms of integrating Google Analytics uh, with our website. Now here you'll see all different types of code, different scripts um, that you can put into uh, the back end of your website. But as we are using a, a relatively simple content management system, then we can actually use this one here. We can use the tracking ID, which starts with a UA. So what I'll do is I'll highlight that and I'll simply just copy that. So right click and copy um, that tracking code. Then what I do after that is I go over to Google Blogger. And again, you go to www.blogger.com. And I'll take you to Google Blogger. I'm going up here to the right hand side to sign in to Google Blogger. And as it's already got my username and password saved, it takes me straight into my blog site. So you can see here the blog site that I've named again in uh, Google Analytics, uh, Marketing Communications in a Digital Age. It is exceptionally important that your URL of your blog, whatever you've called your blog, in my case, marketing comms in the digital age dot blogspot dot com is the same one that you put into uh, Google Analytics and you can view your blog again, remembering by clicking on the link there. So going back to our back end um, of our blogging website, 
then the place we want to go to in terms of uh, adding in Google Analytics is on the settings tab here. Okay, so if we click on the settings tab and then we scroll down to other settings, click on that and we scroll down to the bottom here and that's where you can see Google Analytics. So you have Analytics Web Property ID and that's where we simply paste our UA Analytics code. And just make sure there isn't, you haven't copied any spaces after the last uh, number. So what we then do from there is we go up to the top, up to the top here and click on Save Settings. We then get the notifications that our settings have been successfully saved. And that's us added Google Analytics to uh, the back end of our blog. So now when people go onto your blog, and this one here, you can see that there's nothing actually on this blog as it's just an example. You can then track the different pages that people land on, different routes that people take through uh, your website and how they actually got there, which is important. How did they actually get to your website? Was it through a Google search? Was it through a Facebook link? Was it through a link on another um, blogging website? So you're able to track each of these things. So after we have uh, integrated Google Analytics, we can then uh, click on this drop-down section up here. And then we see our marketing communications in a digital, digital age, um, or whatever you have called your blogging website. We then see our properties and apps within there. So there's our tracking code linked to our website name and then all of our website data. So if we then click on all of our website data, it will take you to uh, this dashboard here. And this is uh, your Google Analytics. And this is where you will find um, what people are actually doing on your website. Um, so what you're basically doing is you're going to the top left uh, hand corner here and you click the drop down and that takes you to uh, this area here after you've integrated your uh, code. Now, as you'll see, there's no actual data uh, in any of this here because this is just a test um, blog that I put together here up on Google Blogger. Now, if I go back to uh, my analytics package, there's one thing that you can see here, one bit of data that we are gathering, and that's the real-time uh, data. And you can see here that um, if we go back onto our my blog site and I click refresh on there, and then I move back into Google Analytics and I refresh this, Now you can actually see that it's changed from zero people visiting the website or active users of the website to one active user of that website. And what you can then do is actually track how they're moving through the website live on your site and where they're actually visiting from. And here you can see that I'm visiting the website from Glasgow. And again, that could show you that someone is visiting the website from France, from Germany, and so on. So this starts to give you some ideas of some of the things that you can look at uh, through Google Analytics, and you can go through each of these different tabs on this left-hand side to identify the different types of behavior and routes that people are taking and where they're coming from um, to your blog or website.